can't believe you invited me on here. I was like, what the fuck? I didn't. I oh, like, no. I, uh. That's crazy. Wanting to talk to you for a long time. You know, I, I know you're from Gary. Gary, Indiana, man. And I once crashed there. What? Did you spend the night in Gary? <laughs> no. Crash? My plane crashed. Your plane crashed? <laughs> no, in the Gary Airport? Well, it was supposed to land in Chicago. Uh huh. And there was this <gasps> electrical storm. Yeah. Like, have you ever been in that where you're like, especially in the Midwest, you must see it all the time where like everywhere you look, there's lightning. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. And I remember hearing the pilot say, we got to get this plane on the ground. And you landed in fucking Gary? Yes. Did, and, <laughs> that nigga, shit, you, I mean, motherfucker, you. I know, it's like the beginning of a plot of a movie. If you would have told me you landed in hell, I would have believed you. Goddamn. You landed in fucking Gary, man. So let me ask you this. Did niggas take the rims off the plane? (laughs) Did they keep the wheel? Because I ain't seen no airplane come through the hood. Y'all must have kept the plane because we would have stole that motherfucker. Can I tell you something? Yeah. I can't even hear that word. You can't. I'll get in trouble just for being in the same room. What, for a nigga? (laughs) Oh, you my nigga, Bill. (laughs) Good dog. X nay. You in here with the, you. You, you in here with the nigga representative, so it's all good. I could do all of that. You That's know what I'm right. saying? No, you can. You know? All right. No Joe Rogan shit. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> no Joe Rogan shit, baby. That's funny. It's all good. What do you think of him? And I that love whole Joe thing. Rogan. Yeah. I wouldn't fight that nigga in no karate match because he's big as fuck. When yes. I met him, I said, you look like a little bitty fucking armored tank. And he, and you he, look like you can whoop some ass. And he told me about his well, he takes fighting history. Seriously. He really does. And yeah. I, I fuck with him with that, man. I, I I love Joe for that. You know what I mean? But I don't like him doing the nigger compilation. But, you know, I don't think Joe a racist, though. I'm going to keep it real. I don't think he a racist, man. And, you know, man, right. really, man, I don't give a fuck what a motherfucker say when they go home. I don't give a fuck. Well, call it me wasn't. All I shit. mean, that really, was, most of it was um, times, not to excuse it, but. Oh, well, shit. My bad. Siri. <laughs> Damn, bitch, my bad. How the yes. fuck you buddy in on a Look conversation, you. You're fucking millennials. You cannot spend one second without your magic light I had light to turn box. that shit off, man, because it'd be too many hoes calling me, man. I told all my hoes I'm coming to Bill Maher. And they was like, for real? Some of my hoes probably <laughs> now, already been here fucking wait, with Bill. Now, Freddie, are we still using ho? Is that? We using ho, bitch, nigga, everything. <laughs> no, but I mean, if we're we're post Me Too movement, are we still saying ho? Man, this the I- Me Three movement. <laughs> fuck them ho. <laughs> The they always was hoes. And then the me, even during the Me Too movie, wait, they always wait. What is it, the Me Three movie? Me Three. Bitch, a bitch touched me before. Is that a threesome joke? Oh, uh, it could be. I like threesomes. You know what I'm saying? My girl just showed me a bitch on the phone right now that she want me to fuck when I come to Texas. I'm going to wow. go knock that shit down, too. I love this. You're so um, throwback to politically incorrect days. And, uh, oh, right, what, what can they do to you? I grew up on Bill Maher. Right. <laughs> That's why I'm fucked up. I'm a fucked up kid. <laughs> and do you do you have a uh, bitterness toward your parents for mm-hmm. abusing you when you're a child? Mike? Nah, I love them niggas. They cool. My mom is a uh, is a, a retired uh, mail carrier. She delivered mail. That's why I get my grind wow. from. That's why I get my hustle from. My mom's a hustler. My dad, like Janet Jackson in that movie. Yeah, Poetic what? Justice. No, nah, hell no. Nah. Tupac was the mailman. Janet Jackson was the bitch getting the ride. <laughs> From the motherfucking mailman. Wait, Bitch, no, you no, a ride. no, Hold, no, no, no. I'm giving you a ride. Are you talking shit? What the fuck? No, no, no. I thought I think Janet Jackson worked for the post office. And in... no, Tupac, no, Tupac worked for the post office. Janet Jackson was a hairdresser, and they got a ride from Tupac had the mail truck. First of all, bitch, get on the Greyhound. What the fuck we doing riding a mail truck <laughs> up to and, Oakland? And who was her friend in the movie? That was Regina King. The, Regina King, the le- legendary right. Regina King. That's right. like if if God was like black and a woman. Which it might be, it would be Regina Key. She is so I, I love her. Like I, I've been well, watching her since two two seven. I've been admiring her for a while. I, 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 if we're really gonna have to believe in God, yeah. certainly that whatever it is cannot be in any specific form of gender or race. Or, I just so said, certainly, if you're God, I was just giving praise yeah, to Regina. I know, but you know, but, it's all like God is yeah, a Filipino, and he could be, he could be a Filipino. He nigga. cannot be. He could, he could be. Not, not, he could not be anything specific. Man, last Halloween, I seen a Filipino nigga dressed up as Jesus. I said, "You Filipino Jesus?" You know what I'm saying? So Jesus could be all kind of colors and stuff, and or God or whatever you want to call him, Buddha. I don't it know. Could I, be. It could have been Rob Schneider. It could have been Rob Schneider. <laughs> 
<laughs> Deuce Bigelow in this motherfucker. Uh, I love that movie, man. I want, yes. to, I want to live that oh, out. I love Rob Schneider. Mm -hmm. There is a dolphin costume in the corner there. You see that? Yeah, I do. You see there's a dolphin there? Why do you have that? Hey. <laughs> It involved. I know you would as a freaking shit. <laughs> yes. I'm okay. A, okay, Flipper. No, that's uh, no, that it involves Rob Schneider. That okay. full length dolphin costume mm -hmm. is one I used on an episode of Politically Incorrect. It was a sketch. Do you remember Elian Gonzalez? The, the, he was a Cuban boy. The little nigga, the refugee, was trying to get over. <laughs> <laughs> they were trying to get that nigga to save Elion. Where is he at? Is he in Miami or something? Chilling for no, he went back to Cuba. Anyway, oh, okay. for, for people that don't remember. Nigga Elion in Miami sells dope somewhere. Now, this is the year Cuba. 2000. How old were you in 2000? I was, uh, shit, 17 or 18. Okay, yeah. you're 17, but you could have heard about this. Elian Gonzalez, a cube, of course, still run by the Castros, mm -hmm. and not a great place, uh, certainly a lot of poverty. So his mother, like many Cubans, wanted to get to America, took a life raft or a tire or something with the boy. Damn. She died on the trip over, and uh, so he good. washed up on the shores of Miami and was taken in by a family there, uh, relatives. And they wanted to get him out of there. Well, the, the, it became a political thing. It was one of the first like issues that, oh, why do we have to be political about this? The Republicans were like, he's on American soil and America's the greatest country ever, so we must keep him. He's yeah. like a puppy we found. And the Democrats were like, no, he should go back to his family. And that really was the right answer. What happened to this dreamer shit they was talking about? They didn't have that then. Oh, no, no. no. This oh, is that, way before that. was way that. before that dreamer shit. Yes. I was with, this I was, was just one kid. I went on a date last night with a bitch that was a dreamer. She was like, you know, I'm from, a, you know, I ain't gonna say what country you're from, but she came over here and she dreamed her way into this motherfucker. And I was like, damn, you here. <laughs> it's just crazy, bitch. How do you just have a dream? I mean, Martin Luther King had a dream for niggas and we still ain't got shit. So. Well, we that's go. not very nice to the people who have achieved a lot. Achieved what? The dream is to go getting over here? I, I, look, I'm with everybody what? that make it to this country. Wait. To make it. I want to finish telling you why the dolphin costume. Oh, yeah, we, yeah, we left off of that, my bad. Okay. We got to talk no. about <laughs> Elian, back to Elian Gonzalez. Okay, so when this was the big story in the news, we did a sketch where <laughs> Rob Schneider played Elian Gonzalez because he looked like he could be a diminutive Cuban boy. Oh, man, that's so and, racist. Uh, I love it. I was the dolphin he wrote in on <laughs> from Cuba. <laughs> and That's fucked up on so many levels, and I love it. And, like, if I didn't actually have that fucking thing over there, I would not even believe myself telling that story that that actually happened. That's right? fucking and I crazy, did that. man. Shout out to everybody that come to America, you know what I mean, and make it Absolutely. over Absolutely. And get over here, because, you know, oh. the, my niggas, we, we had no choice. They brought us. Mm -hmm. You feel me? We got a first-class ticket to this motherfucker. Yes, so, you know, I understand people trying to come over here and make their life better and shit. We didn't really have a choice to disenfranchise, so. Were you trying to make me feel bad? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> I didn't do it. <laughs> I didn't do it, and you didn't experience it anyway. Mm -mm. Uh, but true, true, true dad. <laughs> By the way, true dad, when I started Real Time, the show I'm still doing in 2003, mm -hmm. I wanted to call it. Was that a flex or what? What? You, that was a big fucking flex. You talking about the show I'm still doing since 2003? Goddamn, Bill. There's a lot I, of motherfuckers' I, shows get cut off. <laughs> in two, in, in and one I did year. the other one for nine years before that. I only yeah. had six months in, off in between. I've been on for th almost 30 years straight. That's why you're sitting on 10 acres in this motherfucker. I fuck well, with you. not 10 yeah. acres, but I certainly got this underground bunker. But anyway, I wanted to call the show, and maybe this would not have aged well, but I wanted to call it not real time. I wanted to call it keeping it real. Keeping it real. Well, Which back then was a much, <laughs> it seems a little corny now. Keeping it but real. Think back to 2003. It was not corny then, yeah, I swear to God. That probably would have worked in 99. Maybe in 03, it wouldn't have worked either. Wow, you're, you're monitoring it that closely to the year, huh? Yeah. It's, it's got it. <laughs> My sense of niggaism senses that <laughs> that shit wouldn't have worked. <laughs> okay. All right. Then I was. Then, then let's just say I was. I dodged a bullet. You dodged it. Yeah. Uh, but I like. I, also, I like this shit. I also suggested True Dad. <laughs> That's a title for the show. Like True Detective. 
Uh, well, yeah, but um, so I guess they felt we that should do my so we do my podcast. Let's just call that motherfucker true nigga. Well, there you go with that. <laughs> Starring Joe Rogan. <laughs> The word that must never be spoken. It's good. I'm like, I'm like your nigga safety valve. You know how Tom Brady jump off to the running no, back? You throw that motherfucker to me. When you feel like saying it, just look at me and I'll say it. Well, I mean, you joke, but actually, like Howard Stern's greatest decision ever mm -hmm. in many ways, because she is such a genius. So I have she a black co-host. Yes. Exactly. Because it indemnifies you to so much. Yeah, and it's he, a black woman, too, so that's even, right. more, great, even more great. So... When she laughs at something he says, and you know, look, he did, <laughs> well, there was one really horrible thing that we saw him do, but you know, he was younger and I don't know, but it was just, uh, he himself owns it and it was- What did he do? He, he retired to, man? He just, no. <laughs> well, that too. That was but, fucked up. No, I love Howard and I think he's a genius at what he does. But to have a black woman, yes, it, because, and she's so, She's the most amazing co-host ever. I mean, of all the second bananas, you probably don't remember Ed McMahon, but people like that. Right. Letterman had Paul Schaefer. No one has ever done it better than Robin. She, I think. Robin the, the way shit. she Like Howard, I mean, that is... Uh, She's a legend. So, like, yes. Can it always be a more honest conversation because of that? Yes. Yeah, it actually can. You can. And uh, that's why I'm giving you the big box. <laughs> <laughs> Club Random is supported by SignalWire. If you've been on a video conference recently, you know how it goes. Laggy, choppy video and audio. It sucks, but still not as bad as having to put on pants for an in-person meeting. But this experience doesn't have to be so bad. This experience can be amazing. That's where SignalWire kicks ass and takes names. SignalWire's tech arsenal allows developers to create better real-time video apps and fast. From the little things, like actually being able to hear subtle audio cues, to the big things, like being able to support broadcast quality audio and video for thousands of participants, SignalWire empowers developers to create more natural real-time interactive experiences, better remote work, remote learning, telehealth, interactive experiences for live sports or concerts, and with SignalWire, you can build whatever you can imagine because it provides developer tools to help you get your app up and running with a few clicks and a snippet of code instead of months of complex development work. It's been the choice of TV and film studios for remote looping and audio recording. Visit SignalWire.com random to sign up for a free account and receive an additional 5,000 video minutes for testing your app or integration. Go to SignalWire.com random. Cancel crappy video and be light years ahead of the competition with SignalWire. Go to SignalWire.com random. Club Random is supported by Solo Stove. It's time to upgrade your backyard with a Solo Stove fire pit. It's the perfect reason to get outside with friends and family and build lasting memories around the fire pit. Solo Stove fire pits are brilliantly engineered with premium stainless steel and an airflow system that maximizes efficiency while minimizing smoke. It's easy to light with a few bits of starter. Your fire is blazing in minutes. I love things that are easy to light. And it's portable. You can take Solo Stove with you on camping trips. No more watching Dad struggle to light a fire and then start ranting that camping is just pretending to be homeless. And have you ever sat around a fire pit with a big fire going? The wind changes direction and you're inhaling burning hot wood chips. Not with Solo Stove because it's smokeless. It's easy to unbox and there's no messy cleanup after. Shop now and get up to 30% off fire pits all month long and use promo code RANDOM at checkout to get an extra $20 off, plus a lifetime warranty and free 30-day returns. Just go to solostove.com and remember, you get $20 off when you use promo code RANDOM. Do you have a drink? I got a drink. I'm drinking 42. Oh. That's the hose like in the club. Now, you keep mentioning your... Uh, That's crazy to see a white dude with a bottle of 42. I usually Why? just only see niggas in the club with it. Is this something African-Americans enjoy more than white people? There's some niggas love in the club. <laughs> African-Americans, I don't know. This is the best commentary <laughs> on how ridiculous America is. Isn't it? Super ridiculous. It's super ridiculous.
It's super it's ridiculous. I wouldn't want to live nowhere else. I mean, yes, what the fuck? exactly. I don't want to live nowhere. I don't want to True that. <laughs> True that. True that. Hey, that's keeping it real. <laughs> True that. You could, be, you, could be in, you could be in Russia right now, Bill. Oh, I'd be invading Ukraine. Oh, that'd be fucked up. Yeah. You care about that? Do I care? Yeah. Fuck no. Niggas got too many problems. <laughs> no. See, this I've is, been to Russia before. You've been in Russia? Yeah, I've been Why in Russia. Why were you there? What the Rapping? fuck? Rapping? <laughs> you think that's all niggas do is rap, Bill? No, I... <laughs> Why couldn't I just be in Russia kicking it? Uh... No, I, I, thought, was there, no I, was, I, thought, I was there rapping. <laughs> <laughs> so it turned out I was right. Yeah, you were on tour. Yes, yeah, I was you, were, tour. you were applying your profession. Yeah, fucking around in Russia. Yeah. They gave me an AK-47. You almost won the Grammy for Best Rap Album. That's true. That's true. And I was going to go to that ceremony. And, no, you wasn't because they and, didn't have it. And I was going to go and I was going to stand up and I was going to take the mic and I was going to say, I'm going to let you finish. It was COVID-19. They didn't have one. But Freddie did the best virtual. rap album last year. I did. Uh, maybe of all time. Mm. That's what I was going to say. You think Alfredo's one of the best rap albums of all time? That's crazy. I do too. Wait till you hear my new album. It's called Triple S. Soul, Soul Separately. Now, how much... Oh, wow. Look at that ring. You like it? What is that? Super Bowl? No, I ain't Super Bowl. This is a, this a Super Holes. You know the story. Super Bowl ring. You know the story about Vladimir Putin. What about it? You want to take take it off? No, I, I, I. Take it off. <laughs> okay, but does make the story better. Vladimir Putin. I forget who, but he. But he took the Super Bowl ring. Yes. Yeah. He asked to see it and then took it. Yeah. Don't, I mean, don't do that. <laughs> <I'm not. laughs> wow. Can I ask what a thing like that costs? That's a lot of diamonds. That's a lot of diamonds. Now you gotta have them hit. That's do you wear this to attract the hose? Yeah, that's for the hose, the whole ring. So like, <laughs> I'm holding my blunt, I'm holding my drink. So or this is a, a hoe attract. Yes, yeah, a super hole ring, super hole. Like, yeah, super bowl rings, a super hole ring. And this is because oh, hoes are attracted to shiny objects. Yeah, they, 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 hoes are attracted to shiny objects. Okay. They definitely are, for <laughs> sure. They definitely are. That's they they go right to it. That's why we wear. That's the only reason we wear. So it sounds to, it sounds to me like you're single. Militantly single? Should, is that would that be too much of a of an example? Militantly, I'm actually, um, NM, non-monogamous. Non-monogamous. Yeah, I want them to add that shit to the LGBTQ letter, <laughs> so I could be a part of the LGBT community. I that think I deserve is a spot. Priceless. I deserve a spot. That's I'm a part of. I fuck, I fuck gay girls. You fuck gay girls. Yes. So why am I not a part of the community? No. I I should be part. I'll go to the parade and shit. I like rainbows. So, <laughs> listen to this story. Speaking of gay girls. You like gay girls too. I know you uh, do. Well, I mean, for, I mean I'm mean, i not a homosexual. If you fuck gay girls. I'm not homosexual. I, I no, that's the what girls they say. that are gay, if you fuck them, that mean you, you're in the mix, right? This is too complicated. It is very complicated. It's, it's like, you know... Doesn't, doesn't, anyone, doesn't anyone just fuck anymore? Does he always fucks. have to be eating people and branding people? And, 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 There's a lot of different ways of fucking nowadays. I know. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, listen to this. So this is, I think, 2001. Mm -hmm. Suge Knight had just gone, gotten out of prison. Oh, shit. So my friend, the, one of my closest friends is a rapper. You, you may know Christopher Kid Reed. From Kid and Play. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so legend. Chris and I, <laughs> legend, <laughs> yes. So he was, you know, we were like, the, we just loved go out. When I was a drinking person, we'd go out and drink a lot. Nigga, so, you're drinking right now. What the fuck? Are you right, doing? but I mean a lot. I'm barely drinking now. Okay. So we were at this club called Peanuts on Santa Monica Boulevard. It was, and it was like sort of a half gay, but it was like, you know, hot chick. Lesbian, but a lot of celebrities. It was a kind of a half way into after hours, but you know you had to like be somebody to get in there. So we we wanted to go this night. We heard <laughs> it's like crazy how I thought in those days, but we thought you know Suge Knight was going to be there and it was going to be a hot night. <laughs> so it was definitely going to be a hot night. There, right. So there was this like stage show going on, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, kind of like, you know, burlesque kind of stuff. Not too raunchy, but... And I was looking, and this girl walks right in front of me, and I'm just I'm like, excuse me, I was, you know... 
And she was like one of Suge's soldiers, and like she was <laughs> like a rough one from probably like one of his recruiters. And like I didn't, I was always kind of a, I, I wouldn't say a truculent drunk, but like, like if someone fucked with me, I didn't let it go. So like we kind of, rah, 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 rah. and then she's like, tells me who she is, and like we saw, I saw Suge at the bar. He was pouring from a bottle champagne into a girl's mouth. I was like, oh, this is not going to go well. And so, like, Chris, I said, look, Chris, I think I may have insulted one of the show nights people. You fucked up, Bill. And, <laughs> and he said, we got to get up out of here. I remember the word up in there. Yeah. We got to get good Ebonics. You, yeah. You, you, you so, do that shit correct. I know you got some nigga friends. And I said to him, no, I'm not going to look over my shoulder the rest of my life. Like, I want to squash this now or die tonight. You know, I remember they had, like, the Dodger hat with the red on it. Yeah. That's when you know. They're bloods. Yes. Yes. And serious about it. A red a Dodger blue is, like, very known. So yeah, to make so it red is quite red. a statement. There's certain hats in L.A. you shouldn't wear, and that's but one of them. Suge Knight said to me, I watch Politically Incorrect every night in prison. It really kept me going. And I was like... Once in a while. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> you know. <laughs> when you believe in God that when day. I need him. <laughs> <laughs> That's a and he did my show like a week later. Hey, Suge's a great guy, man. I love Suge, man. What? I think, uh huh. But hasn't he done some bad things? Come as, on, as, Freddie. As a, as a executive on. in the music industry, I look up to Suge. I mean, like, he's one of the... You know didn't what I mean? he like, hang people out windows? Maybe and, he did. I mean, he used a lot of... <laughs> I, drive she, over people with his did car. A lot of, she did a lot of yeah. shit, you know what I mean, maybe, in the music industry. And he, you know, did a lot of intimidating things. But I looked at that, like, I mean, he crawled so we could walk. You know what I mean? Like, the, the, the fear and shit that he instilled in a lot of these executives, they don't, they don't fuck with us the same because of should. And you feel the same about Cosby? What the fuck are you talking about? Did, are you watching that documentary? I have. Well, what the fuck does Cosby... Well, okay. Well, I'm Coffee just saying, if you want to make that, that's what I'm saying. If you want to make that case that we forgive the, the sins because, I mean, that, I was talking about this on, on one of our other podcasts. That documentary really reminded me, before we knew the bad Cosby, he was like probably the biggest trailblazer yeah. for thing. I mean, from especially like the from late like the, 60s. The, yeah, especially the shit he did with black stuntmen because they was paint, stuntmen. They was painting niggas black. I mean, painting white niggas black. That's I mean, crazy. Lots of stuff like that. Paint and, black paint. I'm like, and there's video of him like being really straightforward and honest. I mean, he used all the political power he had from being the star and being as beloved he was, as he was, you know, by both races. He used that. Uh, for really good causes. I mean, you can't take that away. But then he was also a, simultaneously being a monster. Yeah, I'll say the nigga was dropping quaaludes in a bitch drink. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's fucking no, America's no. dad, man. That's why it's just so crazy, man, to even see that shit. It's just like, God damn, looking at that doc, I was just like, fuck, listening to the stories, especially the one um, uh, uh, with the girl went to one of his fucking shows and then got raped or whatever, and then he called her the next day and was like, you got too drunk and you were just all over me. And then she went back the next day and the same shit happened again. I was just like, damn. Was like, what the fuck, dog? She was just but, wild. I mean, this um, sort of harem lifestyle, is that an accurate way to call it? I feel like I'm Tom Snyder. Uh, sir, <laughs> if you have many women, would you call it a harem lifestyle? That's, that this sounds one. like my lifestyle. <laughs> Not the quaaludes. <laughs> No, 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 but, but but you say, like, militantly non-monogamous. Yes, that's a good way to put it. And they, I don't believe in monogamy. I think that right. humans should be able to do whatever they want to do, men and women. So I don't think that men should be tripping on uh, women about, like, what they want to do either. And so them. this, you said you had a date last night. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and tonight, <laughs> and remind, <laughs> uh, and remind me what she, what it, you said she was. I think uh, she's from the Dominican Republic. And she's a dreamer. She's a dream. oh, a dreamer. Yeah, right. it's one of the okay. dreamers. She got over here in the program and and got a citizenship. And how'd it go? It, the date or the dream? The the bit, the dream went good for the bitch. <laughs> 
The date was and, okay, too. And so what, you went out to the Cheesecake Factory? Uh, oh, fuck no, Bill. Give me some credit. I'm a nigga, but goddamn, I'm a rich nigga now. Uh, all right, you went goddamn, out to the... Goddamn, I ain't rich as you, but I got some paper, man. Sushi? Uh, no, I went some nice shit in uh, uh, yeah. Beverly Hills and shit. The oh. spot, you know what I'm saying? I be oh, taking really? bitches to. Yeah, yeah, it's called. Uh, I'm gonna recommend. It. You probably went to it. You had a spot called Olivet. You been there? They got good steaks. Called where? Olivet. Me and Lambo. Lambo went with me one time. Olivet. No. They got good steaks. Oh, I don't go out that much. And steaks, too hard to chew. Uh, you got to get the I, right ones, man. You're a rich nigga. It, you can get a good steak. Even a, you never know. I must say, when I've had steaks at home, you know what I do? What you do? I'm chew, you, it, I can never, like, chew it enough to finish it off, you know, because it's too... And so I wind up chewing it, chewing it, chewing it, and then I take a wad out of my mouth and I give it to the dog. It sounds like, <laughs> sound like you eat steaks from Cheesecake Factory. What the and fuck? the dog is like, I don't care. Yeah, <laughs> Thank you, Dad. What the fuck kind of steak is you eating, man? I chew what the fuck out that motherfucking steak. Yeah, <laughs> no, I guess it's just, you know... So th this, uh, you got to know this person? Got to know her, hell yeah. She had a big ass, too. I was like, yeah, <laughs> hell yeah, I like ass. That's one thing you gotta have, is the ass. And she was in accordance that sexual intercourse was Everybody inappropriate. Would... <laughs> it was all consensual. <laughs> no, 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 well, I like, assumed that. I, like, ass bitch. I assumed, bitch, yes. are you in accordance, I... bitch? <laughs> Are you in compliance, so <laughs> Comply with this me, bitch. This is how we do it in the white world. True that. <laughs> uh, uh, you ask all your hoes, are you in accordance? <laughs> I'm with that. I'm yeah. totally with that. Yeah. You know what? It's perhaps not that far away mm -hmm. in time when that is actually how people will have to behave. I mean, there are already times when people want something in writing, you know, about the people sign NDAs, and there are people yeah, like... Yeah, some rappers, you, you go to their house, you got to sign an NDA. Now, so I don't sign shit. I'll be like, fuck you, nigga. Get the fuck that shit out of my face. I ain't saying shit. What the fuck I look? I don't tell the motherfucker go on to your fucking house. But you don't nasty. You don't worry that this that a girl could be some kind of a, you know, like that Kanye song. Um, I'm not saying she's a a gold digger. Gold digger, but, but she's not fucking with a broke nigger. Is that I what you want to sing? <laughs> was certainly not going to sing that part. <laughs> that's why we're a team. Oh, See, man, you, I, mean, I sing the first line. That's what I'm like, saying. You talk, you dumb like it Bing and Bob. I'm your safety valve. Safety nigger valve. She's you know, a shot. gold digger, but she ain't fucking with a broke nigger. <laughs> I don't know what you heard about me. <laughs> But a I'm bitch a, can't get all it. of them. All of them want some money. They not fucking with you. You think these bitches fuck with me because of my motherfucker? Because my just because my personality. They want to do be around some money. All of them. Baby you have mamas. a great personality. Look that at that. That is us. true. I agree. <laughs> but <laughs> the bitches want some money. They want to do something. They want to eat for a place. They want to and they want to Instagram. Even if they don't want like like money per se, like give me some money, they want to be around. I think you're shit. selling yourself short. That, you that ain't got nothing to do with it. What it did do with it, what I'm saying is, holes in this industry and shit, that's right. what, that's what they, they, they go for. They go for the you know, guys that are well-to-do. It is a natural thing, you know, I know. Gold diggers, it is what it is. All of them is, <laughs> ain't no problem. Gold diggers ain't the fuck with the broke niggas. No, and they hit you. What, what, I mean. And they hit you with that keep a nigga baby. Among Let's let's just say this Have way. You got any baby mamas? Uh, no. <laughs> baby, no. Yeah, you, you ain't got no kids. No. Oh shit. You no wife. No bullets. kids. No alibi. Damn, you lit. Yeah, that's how you get. That's how you get paper. acres. That's how you get acres of paper. You're right, yeah, man. You Fuck probably made kids. it. You just probably had to give it away to like people. Hell yeah, man. Fuck. See, no, you got to travel light, bro. You got to travel light, man. Yeah. See. Damn. Can't that's be true. a slave to your dick. You're right. Well, you can. Just don't have babies with it. You're right. Damn. You know, they it's have, too late now. They have I technology them. to prevent that. I love you know? my kids. I'm glad I got kids, though. No, I... <laughs> I just don't need no bitches. So you have I mean, kids. I need some bitches, but I don't like... I like to live alone, if that makes any sense. I, just I can need, only live I just need to live by myself. I can, exactly. I can only live alone. I can only live alone. I don't, that's why <clears> I said I don't know if I can have a wife or no shit like that, because I got to live by myself. And honestly, what ruins relationships, I think, is over-familiarity. 
Audrey. You just, anyone, no matter how wonderful they are. I'm tired of you, bitch. <laughs> show me a bad bitch, and I'll show you a motherfucker that's tired of fucking them. No, I know. I understand. We got hoes. Me and you got hoes. We don't no, like no, fucking no. all our hoes all the time. No hoes. Like right. What, what? Why ho? Why? We, can't we do better? No. <laughs> <laughs> all right. What the fuck do we want to do better for? We're doing well, the best we can. My mom loved me. That's all that matters. Where's your mother? In Gary. Yeah? Yeah. And she's happy there? Everybody's great. How old is she? Hey, you ask me how old my mom is, man. What the fuck if I get my mom age on the motherfucker show, man? She can be like, <laughs> what the fuck wrong with you, nigga? Oh, no, nah, I think I don't, uh, mom, like, what? Like, she's about to be 60 or something. She's 60 or something like that. She's around my age. Yeah, don't be looking at my mama, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? She married, I, nigga. No, I'm not. I'm not. I was not <laughs> suggesting that at all. I, uh, how deeply inappropriate. But, um, aren't you still with your father? No, 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 no. Remarried? Yeah, yeah remarried, yeah. Remarried. What do you think of the new guy? That's my nigga. Oh, you like him? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. That's my pops. She... Yeah, that's my stepfather. That's oh. We cool as fuck. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good. Right. Mm -hmm. What about the real father? Yeah, we, that's my nigga, too. Oh, well, good. Yeah, yeah. Well, not everybody's old. Not, not every nigga is a bastard child. And we, I wasn't suggesting they are. We know our daddies, nigga. What? We know our fathers. We know our daddies. I know. Yeah, there was no suggestion that oh, okay. you weren't. I'm, I know. I'm just letting you know. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just letting you know. <laughs> I don't play that game that all I'm, the other pussies I play. <laughs> okay? I don't. I keep it real. And it's real time. And, you know... Yeah. Nah, but yeah, no, I, I like, fuck, I, there was no suggestion of that. I'm just with, asking yeah. about you because I, I like you. I love you too. Okay, and I want to know about you. Yeah, I got two daddies. Anything, anything could have happened. In I got your two past. daddies. Anything could have happened. And I fuck with both of them. I fuck with both of my fathers. They both cool niggas. We are supported by Native. You've heard me talk about how much I love Native. The thoughtful formulation behind all their products is great because they understand it's not just what's on the inside that counts, but also the outside. That's why Native is releasing their deodorant in new and improved plastic-free packaging. Native is doing their part to help our Earth with their new 100% plastic-free and recyclable packaging. When you buy Native's new plastic-free recyclable package deodorant, you are saving 37 grams of plastic. Native is also a proud partner of 1% for the Planet and are committing 1% of their plastic-free deodorant sales to environmental nonprofits. Just like all of Native's other deodorants, their plastic-free deodorant is aluminum and paraben-free, kills odor-causing bacteria, and has 24-hour odor protection to keep you feeling and smelling fresh. Ready to try plastic-free deodorant? Go to nativedeo.com random or use promo code random at checkout and get 20% off your first order. That's nativedeo.com random or use promo code random at checkout for 20% off your first order. If someone relies on your financial support, whether it's a child, aging parent, business partner, or <laughs> secret girlfriend, you need life insurance. Life insurance can give you peace of mind that if something happened to you, your loved ones would have a financial cushion for things like rent or meth. Life insurance gets more expensive as you age, so it's smart to get a policy sooner rather than later. Policy Genius is your one-stop shop to find the insurance you need at the right price. Click the link in the description or head to policygenius.com slash random to compare quotes to find a lower price. You could save 50% or more on life insurance by comparing quotes with Policy Genius. The team of licensed experts at Policy Genius are on hand through the entire process to help you understand your options and make decisions with confidence. The Policy Genius team works for you, not the insurance companies. Policy Genius doesn't add on extra fees or sell you info to third parties, and it has thousands of five-star reviews. Head to policygenius.com slash random to get your free life insurance quotes and see how much you could save. There was a time in America where like, families stayed together, and then there was a time when they didn't. And from my experience throughout my whole life of ha watching that happen, it's exactly equal <laughs> among both races. True. I don't know. I don't, I don't know any. I don't see any higher among younger people. True. I don't see any higher rate of like, oh, my parents are still together in the white people than the black people. Hell Nobody no. stays together. Hell Everybody no. who's twenty-five is 
from a, a you know, my stepmom, my this, this, that. This, this, it is know. what it is, shit. I mean, yeah. I, I wouldn't, I'm not with none of my kids' moms and shit, but I still got love for them. They cool and shit, we all cool. As long as we take care of the How kids. How old is your kid? Uh, my oldest kid is six. I got a six-year-old, a three-year-old, and a one-year-old. And what's that like for you? Fucking hell. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> nah. I, I was not... Nah, I love my kids, man. It's cool. It's great. It's, it's good. Yeah, man. but I'm, I mean, it's, they're just such a handful, aren't they? Uh, It's cool. You know what I'm saying? You just, like, work hard and make money, and no, it's, it goes Not smooth. your handful. <laughs> yeah, they fucked them. Yeah, yeah. Go to your fucking mama. What the fuck's wrong with you? See, this, this is such a throwback. My, my, you just got to work harder as a man, because you got you to gotta pay for every fucking thing, but it's, called, it's well, cool, though. Ain't no thing, man. My kids love me. We all got good relationships. I love spending time with my father, uh, Irish Catholic, you know, mm -hmm. from the Irish immigration to America and the mm -hmm. potato famine of the 19th century. That's his ancestors. Yeah. So his father, my grandfather, never met him. He was long dead before I was born. Right. But he was like second generation Irish. So had a brogue, a full brogue, you know. For a you know, the, the Irish, what, what, you know, they, they, what is a brogue? A brogue is like when they talk like this, you know. Oh, oh uh, when they talk like this, lucky charm shit. It's the only thing worth fashion for. Yeah, I did that shit. I, I ain't gonna do that shit no more because no. I, did, I did that shit when I was in Ireland and them niggas said I was racist. What? Yeah, I was acting like that when I was in Ireland, just playing around, and then they said I was racist. They said, the dude came up to me. He was like, Freddie, you're a fucking racist. I was like, well, how am I racist? He was like, how would you like it if Bono came dropping in bombs all over the fucking stage? And I was like, whoa, shit, goddamn. I said, Bono, Irish nigga, too? Yes. I ain't even know that. But you know I said, Bono. my bad. Now I know my Irish history, nigga. You know Bono's I, knew, I, I forgot, nigga. I didn't know. I thought he was just white, regular white. Yeah, that's a lot of y'all white niggas. I don't be knowing what all white well, niggas do. <laughs> you know, white niggas be all, like, yeah, I'm Polish. White niggas be like, I'm German. I be like, nigga, I didn't know. Just like y'all be saying, we look alike. You know, white people have done a lot of great things in America. We have. We have. I mean, y'all have. Music, niggas have too, though. Music on elevators. That's us. No, y'all didn't. We invented shit. Y'all just kept it going. A nigga probably invented the elevator. A nigga invented the air conditioner. A nigga invented the stoplight. We invented a lot of shit, Bill. <laughs> well, I... We got a lot of inventions. I... Uh, for real, dog. Don't, I don't doubt... Uh, you like air conditioning? You like stoplights? If it wasn't for niggas, you'd be crashing into every fucking thing. Okay. Uh, <laughs> the, the, boy, I didn't know about those you things. You didn't know about that? Well, yes, who is this person? I don't know the nigga name, but it's a nigga. <laughs> and nigga invented the gas mask. The gas mask? The gas mask. Okay. Everything. Well, I'm sure that's very... True, but Russia uh, bombing shit right now. I mean, they like got gas masks and all that shit. Because before of a nigga. we saw the movie uh, Hidden Figures, no one knew that it was black women who it was doing the astronauts shit. Doing, do, <laughs> yeah. doing the what? Doing the astronaut shit. They yes, them, they were doing. They the did all the equations <laughs> yeah, and the math. Exactly, Hell yeah. yeah. I, I showed my daughter that movie because right. I wanted to so, see black women in empowerment. But I went to sleep and shit because I was high as hell. But I did. At least I showed my kids that shit. Right. Okay. Hell yeah. But I hidden figures. Well. I would just like to also say... I'm going to do a movie called Hidden Niggas. When it comes to white people... What um, about them? Statues of people sitting on a bench <laughs> waiting for a bus. <laughs> That's also us. We gave you that. White people gave us a lot of statues. I'm glad, glad y'all started tearing them goddamn statues down that y'all was having this shit with all these niggas that was fucking niggas up and slave niggas and, like, you know... If we gonna talk about Bill Cosby, we gotta talk about them niggas too. Who? All the forefathers of this motherfucker, the niggas whose faces on the money, the statues and all that shit. They's fucked up too. We still, we're still a, Je uh, ain't a Thomas Jefferson Memorial? He was raping bitches. I mean, raping women and shit. Yeah. Okay, but why he got a statue and Bill Cosby shit get fucked up? <laughs> well, I, I mean, a lot transpired uh, in lot the transpired. intervening years, but yes, I mean, I'm why, not going to defend... He didn't have no quaaludes? Well, <laughs> yes, I mean, civilization was... Come on, man, I need answers, man. Yeah. If we're going to well, tear okay. Bill Cosby okay. down, well, we need okay. to tear these well, other motherfuckers the, the, the down, The real too, answer man. is that... Because all of them is some dirty well, motherfuckers. It, the, yeah, exactly, all of them, including people of color in other parts of the world had slaves in Columbus's time. They definitely did. Okay, so... They definitely did. Like, I'm not it's, saying... It's, it's humanity did. That's definitely marches a true, a true, slowly... A true assessment. Yes, humanity... A lot of black people don't know that either. 
Right, of course not. They don't. Um, I learned it from Thomas Sowell, a great black historian. Yeah, um, that's real talk. But uh, humanity marches very slowly from primordial days when we literally, you know, you could go back not just 200 years, go back 200,000 and cancel people because they were raping women because that's how cavemen had sex. They didn't take anybody to dinner. They just... There weren't no restaurants, nigga. <laughs> what the fuck? Right. You still have to rape the The bitch. girl was bending over the river and her ass was up no, and he got no, a horn on no, and he went... No, and they, Bill. No. Holes horny too. Okay. <laughs> that's not... Holes is horny too. Well, so you can't... You don't got to rape this not bitch. A, well... No, I know even in caveman time, the pussy yeah. was getting wet then too. Well, cave pussy was wet. I'm sure there were some instances where yeah. the pussy was not wet. That caveman, uh, that cave uh, girl pussy right. was wet to the motherfucker. <laughs> I think them hoes was horny too, know, man. They um, just wanted to fuck too. It wasn't just I, oh me, I'm gonna hit a bitch in the head I with a club. I think that is an unfair characterization of caveman pussy. I'm but just saying that, that is caveman, your opinion, sir, and cave, you're entitled cave, to it. If a cave nigga rapes some shit, he did it because he is a rapist. <laughs> That's all. Yes, ex but what if I'm you saying a rapist, is, you're just a rapist. The march of a civilization travels slowly, certainly by our standards. But when you go through the timeline of history, yes, people were just animals throughout almost all of it in the most horrible ways. All of them. No, there was some it's white just, people. Not just white people. There was some cave niggas. White people was cavemen. Well, niggas didn't live in no caves. Uh, well, uh, we all didn't of, do that. All of humans start from East Africa. True. All You're humans right. started as... Niggas. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, of all the time, of all the times, you've only said it two million times. Of all the times to blank on it, <laughs> Freddie, come on, work with me, or we're never gonna. <laughs> okay, we should go on tour together, don't you think? We should. This would be so fucking amazing. Man. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh my god, a tour would be amazing. I love tour. Right, I could do some jokes. I you could, could do, I some could do some rap. jokes. <laughs> Fuck rap. That's what I was about to say, motherfucker. I'm not gonna rap. Fuck that. I'm tired of rapping. I just want to do this shit. Is that true? That's definitely true. Well, I do, look at, look I do at, a comedy show too, Bill. Fuck this rap well, shit. Well, you know, you are a fantastic... Great rapper, though. <laughs> Conversation. One of the greatest of all time. If this is a rap hall you're, of fame, I will definitely be in it. You're super funny. I mean, yes. you should, and I'm sure will, um, have amazing success in any field where you're just talking. Because... Man. You're a good talker. Thank You're you, a talker. Man. I appreciate that, you know. Man. And you know I don't bullshit people or You don't at all. I you don't tell it like all. it is. You exactly. don't at all. That's why I fuck with you, man. Exactly. That's why I wanted to come That's here, man. That's why you fuck with me. That's why I fuck with you, man. And I hope today has not changed your opinion. I hope it has only enhanced it. I enhanced it, man. I wanna we could go out tonight and get some hoes if you want to. No, I don't, I don't want no hoes. Damn, <laughs> man. Do you understand this shit, man? Ready. You're killing me. Y'all rich ass niggas, man. You and Dave Chappelle, <laughs> I'm trying to take y'all out. Y'all don't want to go out with me, man. Y'all heard I walk on the motherfucking wild side. I do. I love that. But I'm not your age. I mean, you I do. You fuck a bit the same age bitches I fuck. Well, you don't know what See, I well, You don't know what I do. You is not fucking those 60 year old hoes. <laughs> <laughs> you was fucking some 20 to 30 to 40 hoes. 50 year old hoes too old for you. The <sighs> oldest hoe you'll fuck is 40, man. Come on, Bill. Don't play with me now. I know what you like, man. I played the fifth. I know I, what you I, like, I, man. I, I, I know, know what you like. I, I got I, flavors I, for you, Bill. I, <laughs> I got flavors, man. We go out with man. I'm, me and you together. Oh, man. We're going to have so many hoes. I can see it now. We a team, man. We could do. <laughs> we like Eddie Murphy and Nick Nolte at 48 hours. <laughs> I don't want to be Nick Nolte. <laughs> yeah, Nick Nolte, a grimy ass a lot. Nick. Oh, no. Come on. Can't you think of some... I know I, he was... The, yeah, I guess he was kind of cool in that one. I like Nick Nolte. He certainly became a bathrobe-wearing joke. I like you know Gary I mean? Busey. That was like my favorite white actor. I did a movie eight. with Gary Busey. I love Gary Busey. Uh, called DC Cab mm -hmm. in 1983. The oh, year, wow. year I moved out here. And, That's crazy. And, yeah, believe me, I was not living in... Well... Yeah, you know. Whatever I mean, this thing is. Whatever the fuck this shit is. This 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 shit just I don't know. Getting it popping, man. I, hey man, uh, I'm in a movie. I'm in a couple new movies coming out, man. Movies? Yeah, I'm doing movies now. I just I shot a movie, uh, a movie that I started and then produced. It went to Cannes last year, Down with the King. Shout out to the whole cast of that and Diego Angarda, director. 
Um, I'm on a new series, a new comedy series. It's called uh, Bust Down. That's about to come out in March. I'm uh, So you're 38? I'm uh, 39. 39. Mm -hmm. This is it's so funny. My, it's around the exact time my... I, 37 is when I started doing Politically Incorrect, which mm -hmm. is really my break, you know. Yeah. And I remember my manager at the time, the legendary Bernie Brillstein. You remember him? Mm -hmm. I mean, he was, he was the original. Okay? Yes. And he said to me, kid, you're walking into stardom at just the right time. Right. And that's kind of like what I want. It's like you're walking into stardom at just the right time. You know, you got all these things popping. And so my question to you, and then I got to go because... I did my, go I did my fucking show today, you know. I this is, it. it's like, but this is like so much fucking fun. I've seen but, it, I watched it before I came. But, <laughs> already? Mm -hmm. But, um, when you get big er, don't fucking forget me. Because that's what people do. They like, love me on the way up. And then when they have more to protect, it becomes a little too real. You know who used to do my show? Cool. Joe Biden. What's and then when he became vice president, suddenly, he didn't want to do the show anymore. Bill, I, I, we locked so, you for life, dog. I fuck with you, man. We family, man. You don't got to worry about that shit. <laughs> we went a long I'm way. I'm your nigga, dog. You that's my a, nigga, dog. That's a, that's a long way Come in on, one man. hour to You're be family, man. locked in, family. I'm, loyal. I'm a loyal nigga, dog. A fellow African-American. Yeah, man. Yeah. You my nigga, dog. <laughs> <laughs> You're with determined you. to get me into trouble. That's what I love about you, Freddie. You are just fucking determined. I'm not going to let you. Yes, man. All right. Thank Let's you, hug it out. Do we still do that? You do is that, that, is that, is that corny and true that, man? True that, man. <laughs> We have to party here some night. I'm down with whatever, man. I'm giving you my number. <laughs>